number one reason why people think pendulums suck is because you suck. It's because you don't know how to combo properly. So this whole video is going to be how to combo properly. We're going to go straight into it. We're going to do three different combo tutorials. Smash the subscribe button. Get a trip gaming play mat on tripgaming.com. Sign up on the Patreon and let's go straight into it. So you look at this hand. It's a This is a good hand. We start off with a great hand in this one. And then a mediocre hand. And then a bad hand. Three different hands to show you guys how to combo properly. Now, most people would activate Cerberus first, right? Like if you see this, you'll activate Cerberus. No. Would you activate Servant first? Would you put No. They're both incorrect. The first thing you would do is activate Public Secrets. Now, any opponent with a brain would save their Ash. In this situation, they didn't know I have Cerberus or Servant, unless they're stream sniping. But they would Ash right now. So if I got Ashed right now, with the hand that I have, I win no matter what. I win regardless of any other hand trap he has. If he Ashed my knowledge, I win. That's why I Knowledge now. I Knowledge get rid of the extra secrets, not that it matters. But it frees up the rest of my hand. If I activate a Cerberus first, like a lot of different people, a lot of people would, my Cerberus gets Ash, and I'm gonna go ahead and cry. And yeah, that's why my pendulum suck. Pendulum suck because if someone, 99% of people in the world would have activated Cerberus there, and that would be the incorrect play. Instead, I put an Ash bait. Now I know he does not have Ash because if he did not Ash the knowledge, he does not have an Ash. So now my next point of view is okay. I'm now gonna put up a uh jackal to stop a nibiru the hand traps played right now is impermanence ash and nibiru i played through the imperm because blue boy did not get imperm ash he did not ash the knowledge now there's just nibiru to go through so uh, knowing ash has went through another important part of combos guys is i play servant and abductor clogging the scale like this he did not ash the knowledge he does not have an ash blossom he 100 percent does not have an ash blossom unless he sucks and then like, if you don't ash a knowledge in the first play you just don't know what you're doing in this deck like uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, so you gotta play as it. You have to assume your opponent at least has as half a brain. You have to outthink your opponent. So now uh, I get Mag Magister. By the way, is a very bad card, guys. Do not play it, but play one in situations like this where it's searchable. If we open Magister instead of Mastery with this opening hand, if we open the Magister there, our play. If we are not a blue boy got Ash, we just had no play. You need to play as many spell cards as possible. Uh, we still have a desire left if anything happens, so we're gonna activate it now. Abductor could still add if it wants. At this point, if Desires gets banished to anything, it doesn't matter. But if you look at the chronological order of plays there, a lot of you probably would have Desires earlier. You got to take everything out of your deck as soon as humanely possible. So we got uh, uh, all spells in grave. We banished a Mighty Master, which is okay, whatever. We drew into another dead card in Time Gazer. Not that it matters, but we uh, have a card down for Mascarena. We're going to Link Summon into a Selene off the bat because we just, a lot of you guys would have Link 2 and then Pendulum Summon, but you don't gain anything from that. Uh, now, if we don't have a Jackal in this situation, I'm going to make another video on how to play specifically around Nibiru. Abductor is such a reflection because you want reflection to resolve on the opponent's turn if possible. We're not going to Pendulum Summon four car or three cards like this. Now, this is where a lot of you guys get very confused and not knowing what to do. Here, we're going to activate, uh, this is where the combo really kicks in. So, I'm going to go into Absolute, but before, I, a lot of you would uh, Link... Uh, do some random stuff here, but we have nothing to summon off the uh, Selene, right? So what we're gonna actually do here is we're gonna link the Jackal and the Blue Boy into the Mascarena to let a Selene summon something else, or sorry, the Cross Sheep summon something else, and now go into Cross Sheep. Now, a big mistake a lot of you guys don't use is not utilizing Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep is one of the best cards in the Pendulum Extra deck from now on. If you do not use Cross Sheep, you are just not purposely not using the deck properly. Cross Sheep means you have another Selene at link two. So it basically means that a Selene and an Absolute turns into another Selene, which obviously people know you can't do that. But with Cross Sheep, you could do it, it because possible. So if Cross Sheep is not in your extra deck right now, please, for the love of God, throw it in there. We talk about the Patreon all the time. You, you just have to play it. Next, we're going to be able to access Selene, a second Selene's effect, using summoning another Money Master and freeing up a Reflection to summon on the opponent's turn. So by using the pro proper combo, we now have another Reflection and five Negates. A lot of you guys, by drawing into... We, we're playing with four cards, right? Because we drew a Dead Secrets. Uh, we drew a dead gazer. We were playing with two dead cards in our hand. A lot of you guys would have not got the five negates and the full setup like I did here. So just make sure to use the combo properly as I did there with the uh, full combo and cross sheep. Now we're going to go into combo number two. This combo is with a slightly worse hand and we're, you, we'll be using Pendulum Magicians for this deck. I told you guys I want to use different lists. Foolish Burial Goods and Metaphors Fusion is amazing in Pendulum Magician version because you have pen call and souls. Regardless, it's not a very good hand. We have we open two magicians. You don't really want to open too many because uh, you want you prefer to open the pen call because the pen call dual alliance gets you way more spell counters. I prefer to open those. We hard drew the magicians. This is not that good of a hand. I'll give it average at best. 
So we have Upstart Goblin and Foolish Real Goods, which not a lot of you guys play. This would be a Magister right now. Imagine this was a Magister. So many people play Magister or random garbage cards, even a Mythical Beast card. If Foolish Real Goods was a Mythical Beast card, in fact, like look how bad that would be. You just would not have spells. That's why you must play more spells. We talk again, another shameless plug. Get your Trip Gaming Playmats on TripGaming.com. All right, don't forget that. Because when you get your playmats on TripGaming.com, you only draw all spells. You wouldn't draw two magicians. You draw two spells. We're currently playing online, we draw two magicians. But it's all good because it's still going to be five negates. So we're going to activate Master uh, Servant, uh, Goods. No one's ashing Goods. <laughs> like, but you could, if you want, activate Goods uh, after the Servant. Well, unless you serve anymore. But if you hard draw the Goods, maybe some people think you're playing some weird ass like Spiral or maybe Elledge deck. I don't know. They might ash the Goods maybe as Ash Bait. But not when it's throwing counters or Servant. Now we have a few options here. Uh, we activate Gazer and activate the Celestial uh, to be able to resolve the Servants. I do not want to activate the Janky just yet. Uh, we're going to activate the Metal Force Fusion. Why? I could go Crowley first, but then if we got uh, Jackal will not be able to protect me if I went Crowley first. So I really want to draw something I could put in the scale before I go into Crowley. I do not want to activate Janky in the scale because then I won't have an Abductor or Reflection in the scale. And we play four of those. So we have four of those and this deck has more draw cards than any deck I've seen. So there's a high chance you're going to draw into an Abductor or a Reflection. Hence, we Metal Force Fusion first before we activate the Janky. And what do you know of Reflection? I am not do this because I, I, I understand I'm doing the commentary after I do the solo video. But I had this in my mind as I'm going through the combo. You need to think of that. That is what affects different combos. You're going to notice at the end of this combo, if I did, if I did not Metal Force Fusion first, which a lot of you guys make mis mistakes like that, the co correct chronological order in your plays is very vital. We not normal summon go blue boy seekers knowledge very vital because if I didn't do that my reflection will not be able to resolve as it's about to resolve. We draw into a, a, a pen call royal magical library. We activate pen call. Uh, we search the last two magicians of our deck. So unfortunately we drew so many magicians. We actually have no more left. So the harmonizing is dead. This is really not a good hand at all for us. But we're making the most of it. Now as you guys see here we have a reflection but it might not be able to use right. But uh, so you're like oh trip what are you talking about your reflection won't be used like this doesn't look like much. But this is like, we had a very mediocre pendulum hand, but we're making the most of it here just by using the correct chronological order of plays. So, unfortunately, Harmonizing will not be able to resolve. We get to add Celestial, and do not forget that. Celestial's effect will be very important for us. We're not going to go into Time Star. Time Star effect is going to add a Mighty Master, and now Reflection will be able to resolve. Big brain. You have Time Star. Time Star and Celine work so hand in hand. They, they like, bro, peanut butter and jelly. They work amazing. Uh... So now we're going to, uh, we have a few options here. Uh, we can link the time star if we want. But we're going to actually make link into a Mascarena. Put it on the far end here. Now, and we're not going to activate another important piece. So many of you guys would summon Reflection and Mighty Master here. That's a big misplay. Because then you would go into Absolute Selene Vortex. It would seem cool, right? Selene Vortex. And it'll seem cool. But you're not getting the most value out of the, out of the Cross Sheep. You're not getting any value out of Cross Sheep. So why would you uh, purposely make like a bad play like that? So what we're going to do instead, we're going to summon a Celestial. Uh, we're going to summon Reflection and Mighty Master now. We're going to go into an Absolute. And now we can take advantage of Selene and the Absolute and going into Cross Sheep. Uh, whenever you can, take advantage of the Cross Sheep. You get a free Selene for nothing. So we're going to summon another monster. We're going to go into a Selene. Selene will then special a Harmonizing Magician uh, from the Grave. Remember the same two cards that went to the Grave from Time Star. We're going to make a free Boral Savage Dragon. And in this end, because, you know, it's uh, Master Rule 5. And then on the opponent's turn, we have a choice of Mighty Master or Reflection on the opponent's turn, depending on what deck we're facing. Remember the Celestial I said, which is important? This is how we're actually going to get 6 negates. You can add a Doctor if you want, but you already have a low skill and Janky. So what we're going to do instead of a Doctor, we're going to get a Chronograph. So now when Mighty Master, we're going to summon Mighty Master on the opponent's turn, right? To negate a spell card. And then Mighty Master, will, the only card that has to bounce back to hand is Jackal. Jackal will bounce back to my hand. Mascarena will link into something eventually. And then when one of my cards gets destroyed when he enters Battle Phase... I can let him enter battle phase to kill my Mascarena, no problem. And then I'll uh, waste his battle phase, and then after he attacks, Chronograph, Effect, Special the Jackal from my hand, that Mighty Master bounce back. So you get six negates like that. So just another combo tutorial here to show you guys what's available. We're going to do a third combo tutorial with a bad hand now. Alright, this one is with a bad hand, look at it. We open two Mighty Masters, and it looks like three spells, but they're not that good for us. They don't do anything for us. But all depends on the draws. Well, I'm going to tell you guys right now, the draws are going to be absolute ass. Uh, all the, we need some card to hold counters here. That's why I tell you guys, you need to play Abductors. If I had an Abductor here, this hand was broken. But the Mighty Masters do nothing. 
This is why I, I tell you guys a lot. Play two Mighty Master Not Three in Magician builds, especially even one in Magician builds, because it doesn't actually do anything for you right now. We draw or cards. We draw two cards that don't even help us. We only play one Royal Magical Library and one Blue Boy. Guess what? We drew both. Unlucky. All right, draw. Wow, a Dead Souls. Souls does nothing for us right now. Metal Fusion, draw nothing. We drew one card that holds counters at the very end. I'm like, okay, this is very bad. Uh, you could end on not much interruptions here, but we're going to do something very smart. Uh, we're going to activate Reflection and Mighty Masters. This hand will still be three negates, even though it looks like it's impossible for three negates, but it's going to be three full negates with a good follow-up. So we're going to summon these, uh, and now uh, we summon Janky with Souls, not not Mighty, uh, not Jackal or Mighty Master. We will only play two Mighty Master. Uh, we, not Jackal, we summon Janky. So what we're going to do here, we're going to summon Janky. We're going to go into Absolute. Remember the Car Sheep? If you guys notice a pattern in every single common tutorial so far, Car Sheep was involved in any every one of them. Now this hand sucked, right? So we're going to get three negates. Celine, we're going to summon the Mighty Master back. Now you're thinking, yo, Trip, where's the third negate? How are you getting three negates on here? You only have two. Now, even though the hand was garbage, end phase. Remember we summoned Celestial Magician? So now Celestial Magician end phase will get us a Jackal. So Celine does not only say special from Grave, but also special from Hand. So Celine will have enough counter to also special a Jackal. So just like that, we end up with three negates and no deck this format could clear three negates. A lot of decks this format crumble to negates. So just like that, you got Vortex, Mighty Master, and Jackal. And that hand was absolutely shit. If we had a few more, we could have got five negates easily. If we had, maybe if we open an abductor or a servant, that's why I preach all the time, play abductor at three, you must. It's the best card in the deck after servant. But those are three common tutorials that end on three negates. Over here, Selena special the Jackal, like I said. On the opponent's turn, you got three negates just like that easily. So that's the video, guys. Three combo tutorials on three different level of hands in terms of great hand to start and average. Even the first hand, we all ended up opening a dead secrets and a blue and a dead time gazer. So that was just like an eight out of nine, eight point five out of ten hand. The second hand was like a seven point five out of ten, and this one's like a six out of ten. But they all end on three negates, six negates, five negates very easily. But it all depends on how you do it. The one thing I can take away from this is please play cross sheep. A lot of you guys don't do it, and that's why a lot of you guys are finding trouble with your decks. The possibility of Celine being a link too because of cross sheep is amazing. That's the video, guys. I hope you like it. Smash the subscribe button. Let me know if you guys want to see more. Get beautiful trip gaming playments on tripgaming.com. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>